Let's move on to our uh, Hurricanes hero. Over the next few months, we'll honor an exceptional youth who has shown excellence in their school or community with the Hurricanes Hero Award. As CTV's Katie Kelly shows us, our January recipient boasts an impressive resume of accomplishments well beyond her years. Do you jump? Oh yeah, you can jump if you want. Basically a pro at real time. Yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> Charlotte Payne is one remarkable young person. At just 17, her list of accolades is astonishing. I've been involved as a youth advocate for Plan Canada's Change the Birth Story initiative. So we're trying to increase awareness to the Canadian public about maternal, newborn and child health and sexual re reproductive health rights. And I'm also a part of numerous uh, clubs and initiatives at my school. I'm part of uh, my high school student council. I lead my club, uh, Media We Club. And I'm also part of other things, such as the RCMP National Youth Council. Oh my god, last year she, she did very well. And the Wolfville teen does all this while holding the highest average in her grade at Horton High School. But this isn't your average teenager. There you go. It is quite challenging sometimes, especially uh, when i doing my youth advocacy work. And uh, there's also school going on. But it's just very important to prioritize that, and I guess it pays off in the end. And what drives her to do it all? It's just very shocking to see all these things I've done, but it is inspiring, and I hope it inspires other Atlantic Canadian youth to take on change. She is a leader in her community, and I am so proud of her. It's just very inspiring to run into to young people like this. It just gives you such positive hope and energy, you know, as, a, as an older person in the, in the community to know that, that these are the kinds of people that are coming, coming to take care of us down the road. When she's not spending time on her many extracurricular activities, you can find Payne hanging with Dorothy Robbins, her 99-year-old best friend. She lives down the road from me, and every summer, especially during church and when the weather's nice, we go out for lunch, we go shopping, and she's very quick and witty. So what does the future hold for this bright young lady? My dad's a math professor, so I guess that's sort of paved my way into possibly taking a double major with biology and math, but that's to be decided. So Charlotte, uh, congratulations again and uh, Tyler's Hi, got nice some gifts you. for you, you. and uh, would like to congratulate you. Thank you. No problem. Okay, she's 17 and she's accomplished we this sure much. can't pick him, I guess, eh? Yes. That is very, Love very that. impressive. Love that. So impressed, Charlotte. Keep on going. You're, you're going to do amazing things in your life. You already have. I already have at 17. All right, uh, right now we want you to nominate an exceptional youngster for next month's Hurricanes Hero Award. Here is your chance. Just go to ctvatlantic.ca and follow the contest prompts. We're taking nominations for our next Hurricanes Hero until February 9th. The winner will also get four tickets to a Hurricanes home game, a Hurricanes jersey and basketball, hotel accommodation at the West of Nova Scotian, a $50 Eastside Mario's gift card and more. As you can see, uh, it, it's quite an award and it's an opportunity for us to meet uh, youth leaders in our own backyard. Yes. So. Yeah, give them the, the credit that yep. they deserve. Keep those nominations coming in.